I'm Therese. Welcome back. I am so glad you guys are here. So we had actually some really good weather and so I put away the garden kind of late. So I lost about two thirds of my crop of corn. So we only got about three ears. But the fact that I got any at all was just amazing. And you guys, please watch this video. It took me all day because of technical difficulties all day to edit this thing so I really do appreciate it if you do watch this entire video and it's a good thing that I started right now because it started pouring later on and please give it a big thumbs up if you do like this video don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I would really appreciate that. And look, I got two gourds. That is it. And for the third year in a row, I tried to grow some loofah gourd. And guess how many I got this year? Just take a wild guess. One. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm going to have to go on a MarthaStewart.com. So we're bringing all of the plants in. I still have some peppers and whatnot. So this is what I do every year. I pretty much bring a few of the plants in. And uh, no tomatoes this year. But a lot of the times I do actually get tomatoes into November. So we're actually going to go ahead and put them on the patio and bring them all in. And then I'm putting away the hose. That urn right there is where I put the hose in. I have one of these flexible hoses. I love it. Love it. Just make sure you drain all the water out. And you guys, I have so many sweet peppers. I'm so mad at myself because I did let the plants grow and I could have gotten a lot more, but they froze. And yeah, I could have gotten a lot more. So this is part of the harvest so far. Now we're going to the front. Now this is Russian sage and the bees love it. I mean, there's usually so many beads bees on this bush and so what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing some flowers and actually we're going to put them in some cookies so I just want to go ahead and harvest them before it gets really really cold and we're just going to add that to the pile and now we're going to go see how my pumpkins have done that spike right there I'm going to bring inside and the sunflowers we're going to go ahead and dry them and these again are just my fairy trees growing. So we had one pumpkin, two, and three. I don't know what happened. They just stopped growing. I have no idea why. We'll do better next year. So yeah, here's my whole harvest. Thank you, Barbie, for uh, eating the plants. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so we did get these 
pineapple plants at Walmart, and they're around $15, a little pricey, because this one is kind of, it's dead. This one, I'm going to actually go ahead and before, I think this is about as much growing as it'll do, but before it starts shriveling up, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And then we'll cut it open. edible and this is just too small anyways so yeah it's a little poop so yeah it didn't smell that great either now it's about two weeks later and as you can see the cat grass we probably got to replant this yes you're welcome barbie and this is about to die i think these were peppers and right over here we have peppers and we're going to go ahead and harvest these and I'm going to throw it out. And then this right here is my lemon tree and it's absolutely, it's thriving. Do you want to eat them? No, you don't eat green peppers. You do. No, no. Oh my gosh. Are you giving me love bites? <laughs> and this one right here. This one was a pepper, but this is dead, so that's going to be thrown out too. Right over here, you guys, I have coleus, and you can bring this in, and it will continue to grow. But right here, you guys, when it starts to seed like this, you need to pinch this. Otherwise, the plant will start to die. And then right over here, I don't know what's happening with the olive tree. Did you, Barbie, did you attack this? <laughs> I don't know. It's losing its leaves. It has plenty of water. I don't know what's going on. And this a plant my neighbor gave me, and I've had it actually had it for like three years. And uh, yeah, it almost kicked the bucket, but we forgot to water it. Yeah. So over here, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this up all year. We kind of like really pared things down, just very minimalistic. And I actually really do like to decorate for fall. It is not quite December yet. And this is actually from the fall, from my harvest, you guys. And this is our free gourd that we got. And my cute little pumpkins. And these pumpkins were actually 75% off, and that's really the only time that I buy them. I don't know how much longer they'll be good for, but right now they're good. And then I always keep out my good pumpkins, you guys. This is just, it's just so fluffy. And this one too. And then what I did is I took this off the mantle, and I put this for your bed. Do you love it? And then most of the pumpkins I did pack away, and I actually just put this in here. And I'm going to go ahead and make a little bouquet. And then right here is this is the bouquet that we have from before. So I'm little. And I did go ahead and get rid of some of the Dollar Tree floor mats because um, I just want to get some better ones at a later point. And this right here. We just kind of kept this the same. We did get rid of a couple of things, um, like for Halloween. So yeah, very minimalistic. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so I got these from Walmart. These were like 12 bucks and they're actually squishy. They're pretty, they're big, they're huge. See my hand? And they actually do have different colors. They have white ones as well. They have a ton of them, you guys. And I did order one from Pottery Barn, but it's on back order, so I'm not sure. I probably will get it by Thanksgiving, so we'll do a comparison if I do if I do get it. But I mean, look at the, how cute these are. I love, love them. And then this right here, this Christmas tree. Hi, Coco. I've already um, had this out for quite a while. And then that's our little tree that we took all of our decorations off. Hi, Coco. Hi. Are you ready for your bath? Okay, I probably have to turn up the heat a little bit, okay? Okay. I love you too. I love you. He's very talkative today. And then over here, I'm um, just kind of keeping with the pearl theme, and this is just really cute. I'm just going to keep it out. Over here, you guys, it's just a, it's just a mess. <laughs> so, um, my Halloween candles, I'm going to continue to burn until they're gone. These I did get actually from Walmart. I think they were 
they were in clearance. Like I think they were like a dollar less or something like that. So we have that one and we have this one. And I just continue to burn all the candles until they're gone. <gasps> There's my socks. Barbie. I've been looking for those to put them away. And then out here, just kept it very minimal. This placement I did get from Walmart and just everything is kind of minimal. And I really, again, like to celebrate fall because normally I go like straight for Christmas. <laughs> and then right here, I just kept these out. And then this is just a little bouquet, which I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just gonna move that right here. Or right here, I think. I think that'll be good. And then I went ahead and grabbed this bucket and I'm just gonna go ahead and put these flowers in there. Are you gonna help me, Barbie? Are you gonna help? And ta-da, we are done. I think it looks so pretty. So I think we're just gonna put this at the bottom of the stairs. Is that okay with you? Now over here, I still haven't put this away because I just got this actually from Grandin Rhodes again. Thank you, Grandin Rhodes, for sending this to me. And we still have our pine cones and apples out. And then we still have our potpourri out, which is a little bit of pearls. And then I actually do have another thing of potpourri. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put that out, but I went ahead and grabbed the bag. And then over here, I actually did pick these up at Walgreens. I was actually thinking of making one of these, but sometimes, again, it's cheaper <laughs> just to buy it. These are only $12.99. I think that's so cute. Sweater weather. And you can keep this out and actually till spring. So it's kind of almost seasonless. Let's stay home. Yeah, let's face it. This is, can stay out all year long if you want. And I did show you guys this before, but this does glow in the dark. So I'll show you that later. And then of course, this is Barbie's like favorite pillow. Right, Coco? And then for fall, I actually had this from last year. I just never opened them. These are just dish towels and yeah, from Walmart. And there's four of them in here. I was actually looking for some dish towels for fall and I didn't find any that I liked. So we're just going to use these. And you guys look great done. So I got this at Home Goods. So I think this will probably be better for like Christmas, but I wanted to show you guys. So how cozy is that? And then I did find these at this at Home Goods. So bless it. So I actually have one that I use for starting Valentine's Day, but this is actually going to be used throughout the whole year. I think this is really, really cute. And instead of buying new spatulas, we're just going to go ahead and use all of the ones that we bought for Halloween. So we're going to have like, you know, one set for Halloween and fall and then um, just this one bowl. Okay. So I do have a lot of bowls, but they're antiqued and they're cracked. So I can't use them anymore. So that's why I had to get a new one. And I'm not going to buy one for like each season. I mean, that would be, that would be a little crazy. So we have one for fall. And then we have one for like during the spring and the summer months. And then over here, I'm going to just put the finishing touches on my kitchen tier. And this right here I use throughout the season and we're just gonna put some little pumpkins in here. And this little guy I found and we're just going to turn him around and then I do have the hardest mix which I had on the a bag and then we do have some Brock's Autumn Mix these are delicious this one we got from the Dollar Tree and this right here used to house this so I love this. So I went ahead and took this out. These actually we got from the Dollar Tree and put them inside here. I did have some smaller pumpkins, however, they would fall out. So for right now, um, we're definitely going to decorate this a little bit different for next year. But I really do love this. And then we're going to go ahead and just put this right in here. As you can see, 
We'll start a hole on the bottom. So this is how it looks for fall. And with this right here, I don't drop this. This is from Ray Dunn. It says Happy Halloween on the back. And we simply just turned it around. So yeah, I think it came out really, really cute. Again, not too much effort from when we decorated it, decorated it for Halloween. Again, not too much effort from when we decorated it for Halloween. So I think it came out really, really cute. And I don't know, I think this is like my favorite. I think we're just going to go ahead and add a couple more pumpkins. Oh, that is just so cozy. Thank you.